Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching. This is me Mr. P and this is another episode in the Proxmox home server series. In this episode I will show you how you can create LXC container running Tailskill service and what settings you need to apply to make the Tailskill function as a subnet advertiser and the exit node. So let's start creating the LXC container first. Obviously I can start with my Ubuntu template that I created in a previous episode but in this, in this video I will go straight from scratch from zero creating a fresh new container. If you already have a container set up, you can use the timestamps inside the description to jump to the next part in this video. So I'm going to create a new LXC container. 101 ID number is fine for this. Uh, the host name will be tail scale yt. Like that. I will put, I will leave tick next to a privileged container. You can run tail scale inside the privileged container. Uh, for this video I will show you unprivileged container because unprivileged container is a bit more secure. It's, you will need to do a couple of more extra steps to make that function, but unprivileged container works fine for this setup. Next I'm going to put the password, something easy that I will remember to enter in and this everything in this tab is done. Under template I will select Ubuntu template. I will use 22.04. Under disks I will leave default 8 gigabytes. Tailscale will not use that space at all. It's probably even four gigabytes will be fine, but eight I'll just leave by default. One core CPU is fine for the setup, as the same as a memory, 512 giga, 512 megabytes is plenty for this to function. Under networks, I will change right now to DHCP, but once we have LXC container running, I will go back here and change to static because I don't want this to change in the future. So I'm just going to leave the HTTP at this moment just to get IP address assigned and then I will lock that IP address using a static function. Under DNS I will leave everything by default which are blank. And under confirm we have a quick check if everything is fine. I'll put the tick next to start after created and press finish. And right now Proxmox is creating LXC container for us. Creation is done, it was quite quick. So I'm just going to select the 101 ID number and wait for this container to start. Container started and inside container console I can see a login screen. So now I'm just going to put root as the default username to log in and then password is the password I said I picked up during the LXC container setup, uh, setup process. First thing I want to do straight away is amend the file which is ssh config. To do that I need to type nano space slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. And if I scroll down until I find the line which will say permit root login prohibit password, I'm just going to delete prohibit dash password and put yes at the end. Control O to save, enter to write and Control X to close. And next thing I'm just going to put AP, I, AP space A just to get the IP address of this container. In my case it's going to be 187. So I'm going to go into the networks, double click on a virtual NIC, change that from the DHCP into static, I just already forgot what IP address I got was 187, so under network, double click and enter the AP address that I got assigned, 187 slash 24. Then I copy that and the next line I will delete and leave one at the end. Your IP address is obviously going to be different depending on what kind of router you have or system set up, but you need to put these credentials, these two fields uh, have a, a, the properly correct information for this to work. So I'm going to click OK. And LXC container already takes this settings and applies straight away where in the virtual machines you, have, you need to restart virtual machine. So right now, right now I want to double check if my setup is working just by pinging for example Cloudfire. I can see that I get the ping successful, that means my static IP address being accepted is working. Next thing, I already know the IP address of this virtual machine, so I'm just going to open terminal and I'm going to SSH into that virtual machine from the terminal. 187 accept the fingerprint and I put the password I created. So first thing, as soon as I logged in and I'm ready to set up the tail scale, I want to update and upgrade the system. So I'm just going to type apt update, double ampersand apt upgrade dash y, press enter. And I'll wait for LXC container to get updated and upgraded. So update and upgrade is finished. I'm just going to press control L to clear the screen. And now let's go back in the browser. And I'll click on uh, this tab that I already opened just before recording this video. So this is the page where I can pick the script or the one line command to install Tailscale. I'm just going to press this icon to get the script copied. Or you can double click and select all of it and press copy. I can see that this requires curl to function. So back inside the terminal, I'm going to put apt install curl-y to auto accept. 
installation. So curl gets installed. And now I can right click and paste the script and press enter to initiate. And right now tail skill will go and get installed in, uh, automatically. Once installation is finished, it will ask us to run a command to activate the tail scale. We will not do that because we need to set up a couple of extra things because the container we're using isn't privileged. As you can see at the bottom, it says installation complete. You need to run this command tail scale up to start this working. We will not do that. We need to do a couple of more things before running the tail scale up command. First thing I know I, I want to run the tail scale with a subnet advertising function on. For that to work, I need to allow IPv4 forwarding. To do that, if I clear the screen, uh, you need to type nano space slash etc slash sysctl.conf. Press enter and scroll down until you find the line which it says net.ipv4 IP forwarding. I will uncomment that line. If I'll scroll down a bit, there is IPv6. I don't use IP, IP version, IP version 6, but I'm just going to uncomment that as well because TailScale will moan that this is not, un, uh, this is still commented. So I want both uh, to turn into white color. I remove the uh, hashtag in front. This means they're going to function right now. They're active. I'm going to press Ctrl O to save, enter to write, and Ctrl X to close. And now, next thing what I'm going to do is I will shut down this LXC container. So shut down space now. LXC container is getting shut down. So we can double check if we're back inside the Proxmox web GUI. I can see the connection lost and the container icon changed to gray icon. This means container is off. Next thing what we need to do is apply two lines, these two lines inside the container setup, container configuration. So I'm just going to copy both of these lines. Right click and choose copy. And now I'll select my Proxmox, main main Proxmox, which is this, Pitex PBE. Click on a shell. And in here, I need to type nano space slash etc slash PBE slash LXC slash an ID number of the container I want to edit. And if I press tab, it's going to autocomplete. Press enter. And if I scroll down below the unprivileged, I will right click and choose play, paste as plain text. What this will do, it will allow the unprivileged container to access this directory inside the host. Without doing that, the tail scale will not function because it will not have access to an, your local network. Once that is done, Ctrl O to save, enter to write, Ctrl X to close. And I can start the container, right click on the container and choose start. Container is started so I can go back inside my terminal and I can SSH back into this LXC container and now I am ready to initiate the tail scale. To do that I need to type tail scale space up and this will start tail scale straight away but I want to enable subnet advertising and the exit node function as well. To do that after the up you leave a space then double dash advertise dash routes equals and your local API address, which in my case is 192.168.178.0. You need to put zero at the end, slash 24. This, this uh, flag, this function will turn the subnet advertising on for this tail scale instant. And then space dash dash advertise dash exit dash node. And this will advertise this uh, tail scale instant as an exit node. The subnet advertising is will make uh, it will allow you to connect to your home devices from a TailScale network and those devices can, there is no way to install TailScale. Like say, for example, you have a smart washing machine that will, that gets IP assigned by your home network. You can't install TailScale on the smart washing machine, but you want to know if it's active, if it's connected to a, to a home network. You can go, or let's say, for example, I am on my phone with the TailScale active, I can use my phone via tail scale in network, ping that washing machine, and I can be anywhere in the world as long as my phone and this tail scale instant are both connected via tail scale. I will be able to ping any my home network device, even if they don't have or they do have tail scale installed. And advertise exit node is basically you can switch this on to route every single device into your tail scale network, all the devices can route the in and out data via this exit node. So it turns like in your 
private home VPN. You can be somewhere in a public place and you connect your public Wi-Fi. You can turn, like say on my phone, I'll turn the exit node, use exit node. In my case, it's going to be tailskill-yt. Then this tailskill becomes my exit node and my phone, tra my phone traffic, my data, everything goes via this node. So all the websites that I will open, they will think that I'm actually ac accessing these websites from my house. So I'm ready to run this command, press enter, and it will give me a URL that I need to copy. Copy this link, go inside the browser, open a new tab and paste that link, press enter. It's going to ask me, do I want to log in? I'm going to say, yeah, I want to log in via Google and I want to use this uh, Google account. Once everything is connected, it gives me a brief information about the device that is right now trying to uh, be, be added to my Tailscale network. I get the public key, host name, operating system, uh, Tailscale version. I, I can check and everything is fine. I'm going to connect now. And now I'm connected. So I can close that. If I open the terminal again, it says success. And I can double check if this device is definitely connected to a tail skill by running tail skill space status. It will give me all the devices that are currently connected inside my tail scale network. For this is quite lucky to get this kind of easy to remember tail scale IP address 100, 111, 114, 111. On my main tail scale network, I, all the IP addresses are all over the place. So this is. I take this as a, win, let's say, a lottery winning ticket to get this kind of easy IP address. Anyway, if I go back inside the browser, I can log into a tailskill.com using the same account that I used to activate this tailskill. And if I click on the admin console, I get this device showing up here in the list. At the moment, it's only one device here as I haven't connected anything to the system yet. So let's say this is showing as a subnet. I can actually increase this font a bit. So it's showing me that the subnet and the exit node has exclamation marks next to it. That means that this tail skill device, that device running inside tail skill network has potential subnet advertising function installed and exit node function installed, but they're both not yet been approved by admin, which in my case is going to be me. So I'm going to right click on the three dots here at the end and choose the edit route settings. Click on that. And it says connect machines you can't install TailSkill on. I'm going to say yeah. So this is where I explained to you about the smart washing machine. Right now I can ping any local IP address using this TailSkill because this TailSkill right now automatically went from my home network and I went and scanned all the devices that are currently connected to my home network. I can ping, I can ping them, I can SSH to them, RDP to them with no problems at all. And exit note, allow your network to route traffic through this machine. This is where I explain this becomes like your like your VPN. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm allowed that as well. It gives me at the, to at the top a warning message about key expiry. We can sort that now. If I click on the three dots, I'm going to say disable key expiry. If I will leave key expiry on, these dev this device, if it turns on, if it's going to be off for, I think, 30 days or so, it will lose a access to this tail scale network to my tail scale network and I will have to automatically reassign on so I will have to manually reassign it back to my tail scale network. And that's it. We have a tail scale running inside a Proxmos home server using one of the LXC containers. In upcoming videos I will show you how you can install remote a remote system inside the LXC container, like for example, Remina or Guacamole, and you can use those to control any device inside your house from anywhere in the world, as long as your source, which in my case, for example, is going to be my phone and destination, which this is going to be this Telescale container, are both connected to the same Telescale network. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.